Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you the best workflow for using Machina Micro MK3 inside of Logic Pro 10. This workflow, I purchased the MK3 last week and it took me five days to figure out this workflow that allows me to easily record into Logic and edit my recordings if I ever wanted to. I looked all on the internet and nowhere could I find this workflow that allowed me to edit my recordings after and put all my drum kits into MIDI form into Logic. So let's get straight into it. Here I split all the tracks. This is an overview of what the workflow will allow you to do. I've got all my split tracks with all the different drums. If I open, I've got Machina open and I've programmed all the drums into here and I can drag the MIDI straight into Logic Pro, like so. I'll mute it inside Machina. So now it's playing inside of Logic. And this workflow allows you, there's been a lot of workflows I've found that show you how to do this but when you want to edit, say I want to add in some more kicks, some more kick drums, then to edit that is a massive, massive ordeal. I have to go back into Machina, click record again, record my drum kick, but Machina will also re-record all of the MIDI I put into Logic, and it gets really messy and really out of whack and it doesn't work. So today I'll be going through a workflow that allows you to simply edit like so straight into Logic. This method is simple, easy, let's get into it. Alright, so first we're going to load in Machina 2. We're gonna go down here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna open up the multi output 16 times stereo. So this will allow us to split all the tracks into their different instruments, different different types of drums. Okay, so now we got Machina open. We're gonna load in a drum kit. Make sure that the patterns button is deselected. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to go here, group, input, and we're going to change this to manual. And we're going to change the source to host. Then we're going to go to sound, input, source, no, nope, MIDI, the source is going to be host and the channel is going to be one. We're going to se select all of them, make sure that host is selected for all of them, for all the tracks and we're going to go through and change the channel like so. Change number four to channel four, five, to channel five, and etc. Awesome. Once we've done that, we're going to go we're going to go to sound output 
audio and we're going to change the destination for each one of them so that we can split up into different split all the individual drums into different audio tracks you can do this in the mixer by pressing tab and for sound, for example for sound number two it's external two for number three it's external three and so on Once you've done that, click tab, get back into the main window, and we're going to go sound, output, MIDI, and we're going to change the channel, make sure that the channel is different for each one. Perfect. Now, we're going to open up Native Instruments Controller Editor. Now, for the Machina Micro MK3, it doesn't actually allow you to load in the any factory templates. So I found that loading in the Maki Controls factory template in the Machina Micro MK2 works on the, for the MK3. So what we're gonna do is have that load it up and keep this open while we use Machina and make sure we are out of MIDI mode and now we can record now we're gonna go into our mixer in Logic and add in all the auxiliary channels so now Drum number one, our kick is going to be instrument one, our snare is going to be aux one, then it's going to, so it's kick, and our external two is going to be aux one, external three is going to be aux two, external four is going to be our aux three, and so on, and you'll see we have the whole drum kit on different channels. We're going to select all of them, go option, create tracks for selected channel strips, and now we have our tracks. Okay, now we're going to record inside of Machina, we're going to start out and we're going to record a simple beat that we can load into Logic. We're going to make a loop. Make sure we've hit record on our Machina Micro and get straight into it. Oh, forgot one thing. <laughs> Make sure that your pattern length is four. So it will fill up these four, the four bars inside of Logic. Let's do that again. Oh, and make sure the metronome is on. We're going to set the BPM to 150. Nice, fast BPM. Quantize that. Add in some hi hats. Add an open hi hat. Finish up there, make sure it's all quantized.
Okay. Now for convenience purposes, we're just gonna rename these channels. Kick. Snare. Close. Hi hat. This is snare one, by the way. Kick one. Running this open hi hat. Kick two. And snare two. Now we're going to grab the MIDI by holding on this icon and dragging straight into the top of the first channel of Logic. No? And as you can see, we've got our MIDI straight into Logic. We can delete the channels we're not using. But in this workflow, always keep all your auxiliary channels open until you're finished with the initial drums. Because when you drag in, if you leave them, if you close them down and you drag in your audio, your MIDI, it will add extra MIDI instruments and it gets messy. So leave them up. And now we've got it inside of Logic. We can go back to Machina and create a new scene. So now it's playing inside Logic. Oh, make sure that record is unselected. Perfect. Now, if we wanted to edit now, instead of having to go back into Machina and edit, which can get really messy, what we do is we can turn our Machina Micro into MIDI mode by selecting Shift and the Project button. Group. Make sure that it is on the 16th. You're on the 16th pad, not the 15th, the 16th. And as you can hear, say we wanted to add in our bassy kick, you can call that straight into Logic now. Quantize that. We want to add in another, an extra kick. Simple, easy, and the perfect workflow for using Machine Micro MK3 inside of Logic.